Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. What's today's video about? Well, obviously from the title, I can finally say I have every single card in the game. That's right, and all it took was me to get to collection level 3,286. <laughs> this is an insane amount. So today's video, I just want to talk about it for a bit because, oh my god, this was a lot. I've been playing, so if you don't know, I've been playing the game back when it was in beta, way, way back in the day. Um, funny, I think it's, I think it's actually been four months. I think my total play time is, let me look at the details, 132 hours? Yeah, 132 hours of it all. And it's, yeah, this system is absolutely insane. You can see here in the early days. So what's some things that are actually different? When the game started, I guess, technically speaking, it was harder to get cards. As you can see here, I think this is, you can see here it's collector's cash is what it is now. But back in the day, it's not what it was. They actually changed it and improved it, so they said. It didn't feel like that much of an improvement. But yeah, it, as you can see here, it's been a very long time since I've had any of this kind of stuff on hand. I don't remember what this gave me. I don't think it gave me a random character. I think that was one of the changes or something. It's been so long. Um, but Hell is definitely someone you can only get in pool 3, so this was a good time afterwards. So yeah, let me show you what the entire collection looks like now. I can show you here based off of energy. Or na I can actually go recent. There we go. Uh, so yeah, my last three cards were Nick Fury, Viper, and Debris. I did not even know Nick Fury was in the pool, because I heard that he was in the random pool. I didn't know that he was in the actual pool. Um, all of the season pass characters I wasn't able to get, I wasn't able to buy during the beta, and the reason is is that I actually snuck into the beta through Cool App, so I wasn't actually able to buy anything unless I set my region to India or Australia or something like that. So it was, uh, <laughs> wasn't doing that. So it took me a while. I missed all of them. Starting from Miles is when I could actually get them. So up until Miles here, all these characters were gotten through free to play means. And then if you want to be a sem weird semantics about it, I guess you could debate how much of my final collection is the two nine ninety nine that I spent for. Oh, well, Black Panther and um, Spider-Man. This is funny. I think this one is here because this is when I was actually able to get Shocker all the way to the top. So not all of them are accurate to whatever. But yeah, you can see here, it was a hell of a journey. It took a very long time. If you're wondering, um, how was there a trick? Was there some kind of like secret sauce? Not really. Um, Agatha is probably your best known way. She's a pool 3 character. She gives boosters. The problem is is that Agatha's AI is the dumbest in the world. So what happens is that if you do use Agatha, then you're never able to actually go up. And you can't advance very far with Agatha. So, and you're not really completing missions because Agatha does whatever the fuck she wants at any given point. So yes, even though I did use Agatha for a good amount, I stopped at a certain point just because... I got tired of dealing with her dumb AI, and from that point on, it was literally just boosters and leveling up. Um, once I got into pool 3, I actually started using this feature right here, which is going through here. Sometimes this is beneficial, sometimes it's not. Like, this one for Polaris, I could just simply use Polaris and save myself the, the 25 credits. But for some other cards, like for example, Mr. Sinister, I'm just never gonna really use. So this would actually be a decent enough get for me. White Queen is definitely one where I would debate looking at it and be like, ah, I technically could see myself using White Queen in like a specific, like maybe a collector deck. Um, but I also, <laughs> it'd just be easier to pay out the 415 and do the extra. This is something I only suggest when you're this far deep like me. Like if we actually go here and we see the characters I can boost, there's just not that many. Um, upgradable. See all these cards here, like Beast, Miles, Carnage, Green Goblin, except for Craven. Craven's the one weird one. Lockjaw, the ones that can be currently leveled up, these all have variants. And those variants are the reason why I don't level them up. Um, yeah, and they stay that way forever. And now, in terms of the quality, I guess you can look here. Yeah, I guess you can go all the way to the bottom to see all the ones I have at close to max rarity. Yeah, 
I have Wong at max rarity, I have Wasp, I have Thing, I have Sunspot, I have Sunspot again, Squirrel Girl, Shocker, Scorpion, Scarlet Witch, Patriot, Okaye, twice. This is back when Okaye was crazy busted, that's where she got these. Nightcrawler, Mystique, Moon Girl, Lady Sif, Claw, Jubilee, Iron Man, Elektra, Doctor Doom, Devil Dinosaur, Cosmo, Carnage, Cable, Bishop, Beast, Ant-Man, Agent 13, Agatha, Agatha, and uh, I think Agatha again. Yeah, Agatha again. And these are the ones I, the other dudes I need to kind of work on still and get there eventually. But there's really, uh, hey, yo, I'm done. I don't have to worry about any of it anymore. Why did I push myself so hard to actually try and get them all? Like, there was a part of me that wanted to wait for collector's tokens. But then I realized while I was playing the game, like, I don't know how much those things are going to cost. And they are random. I'm just going to keep going. My whole experience in the beta where they didn't compensate me for the improvements definitely made me feel like ah okay i guess that's they don't really there's no way they're gonna retroactively give me all the collector tokens i'm due so i'm just gonna keep moving forward and yeah i really do think that they should have launched this game with collector tokens in no world is it right that i had to go to collection level 3286 and this is all rng by the way someone could take more i had the craziest good luck out here at the end where i got to bring in viper back to back and nick fury was like one away that's not the experience here's the actual experience where you go one two no that's a little bit too much one two one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, it's more likely that you'll go three. One, two. One, two. What's my biggest drought? I think it was like one, two. I think it was close to four. One, two. Oh, no, this one doesn't count because this is a pixel. So this is actually... Oh, man, this is the long drought. Okay, so it goes wave one two three four five six seven seven goings before a new card that i could actually use one two three four five six six in between here one two this one was a two that one wasn't too bad one two three four five five one two not bad one one two three four one two. and the other thing that was bad is that sometimes i would get cards like human torch where it's like i don't have any plans to ever use him at all so it was just you know a hell of an experience so yeah i now have every single card in the game which i'm happy about to be fair to the game there's not actually a lot of games where it's possible to get every single card f basically free like there was really no reason for me to pay for panther or miles i could simply just wait because it's panther funny enough is a lot of fun and i enjoyed using him miles i think is actively kind of meh. he's not he should have been made much better i feel he's probably a little bit easier if you're starting out to the game and you, you where move is a viable deck but where am i where i'm at at the game move is not a viable deck so it's not really something that you can <laughs> really use or do anything with and yeah, I think that they should improve the system of getting cards. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. I don't know what I get now. Because to be honest, the thing that they're saying I would get, like, oh, you can get... Like, what's left in that box? It's like gold, which I can use to get variants. Variants, which I would actually like if it was cards that I could actually get. But, like, stuff like um, credits, don't not really in a big fan for. Gold, I could potentially use. Variants, I could use. Uh, profile pictures not really you can see all my profile pictures here like I have a decent chunk ever since I got lady death I have not used a single characters other thing than here I have plenty of them as you can see here I have a crazy amount of them not every single one in the game obviously in terms of titles I only have two titles I think now I have three titles which is funny this matchmaking sucks which is my favorite one those seem cool but yeah I don't know what else that there is for me to do in this game other than to just continue enjoying pvp which is what i'm going to continue doing um obviously gonna try and see if i can make my way up to inf infinite i know it sounds weird it's like you have every card in the game but you're also barely out of silver you're going into gold and eh, the reason is is that you know 
I definitely enjoy playing the game, but the rank up and the... I always felt like I was missing the exact cards I needed to level up and get to the higher ranks. I don't think that's the case anymore. I don't think I can use that excuse. I literally have every card I could potentially want. Like, I have multiple decks here. I have for fun decks that use um, stuff like... Uh, recent... Nick Fury. I have some. I have ideas for Viper and Debris that I want to use. Destroyer. I was glad to get. He was one of my last cards that I got. No, this is Control Panther. This was a deck. This is a bad deck. Let me remove it real quick. This is a terrible deck. Uh, I think deck 13. Yeah, deck 13. This was a Destroyer deck, that which I actually had a lot of fun playing with. Control Panther. Did I have two of this? This was a better version of Control Panther, but I'm also going to delete this deck. I have my Panther deck, which is the one I'll probably use for actual leveling up because it's the easiest one to win with. I had a Guardians of the Galaxy deck. Oh, Toxic deck. I can finally put Debris. This is the reason I wanted Debris. Add the deck. Thank you very much. Um, I have Return. I have Cerebro. I have literally anything I could imagine to make a deck with. Some of these I need to completely a race and see what's up see what's happening see what cards i want to play with but now that i have them all i'm pretty happy with it i just wish that it had to take so long and i wish eventually it gets to the point where everyone can take it because like i said there's really no easy way to grind to the level that i had you have to just literally keep playing and the change to the booster system is also in such a way that it's not possible to do it the way i could do it they actually made it harder in the past you could actually do it where if i had just viper in my deck and she was the only card in it um that was at the lowest rarity she would always get the boosters but now that's not the way anymore now it's up to 20 and then they'll basically say hey go <laughs> get a new one maybe and you know that makes it seem like it's going to be a little bit harder so really agatha is your best bet of just like cheesing it all the way to the end and agatha just sucks to use i hate using agatha so much so it was such a just you know i should probably get my last copy of agatha maybe that's another thing i'll do now that I have everything, I'll finally get Agatha to the ultimate final rank, and then I will consider her done. Get to the final rarity and get the super shiny one, and then I'll consider my time with Agatha to be complete, and I don't have to think about her anymore. Oh, this new deck that I was using with my for fun deck with Gambit, which is basically just Exodia Gambit with some other follow-ups and stuff like that. But yeah. That's, uh, that was just today's video. I just felt like sharing it and being like, hey, I shared it on Twitter and said like, oh my God, I made it. Um, but Twitter soon is exploding. So I don't know how long that's going to last. So I figure, hey, why not make a video based off of it? Uh, this game is really good. I really like it. If it's not obvious, I would not have grinded to collection level 3,286 and gotten every single card if I did not feel like this was worth of my time. And I liked it. For a free game, definitely. You know, worth checking out. There's really no reason to buy anything, like I said. Even though I did buy all this stuff specifically, it's because it's the only thing worth buying. And honestly, I kind of want to have this game stick around. I would be kind of bummed out if it left. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the end of the video, everyone. If you're playing Marvel Snap, I wish you the best of luck trying to get your cards. And I'll just keep on playing. How about that? See, until infinity... I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.